Hi everybody, my name is Anne. Thank you for joining me today for a budget EDC setup themed in silver and black, which is going to give you all six traditional EDC items for under 50 bucks. And unlike some other EDC setups, with this one, when you decide to replace any of these items with something better, you don't have to throw this one away, you don't have to give it away, you don't have to throw it in a drawer, because each of these items can move into another role in your life or in your carry. So let's actually start with the most fun one, the knife. Now this isn't a knife, this is a utility blade. It's the Gerber EAB, a very popular item that's been around for quite a while. It's actually the EAB Lite. To remove the blade, you unscrew this screw here, the blade comes out this way. The first time you change it, you actually don't need to get a new blade because this portion back here is protected, and by flipping the blade around, you can get this part out here to where it's a cutting surface again. To release the lock, you press on this piece, and it folds back up with a satisfying click. It is a Gerber item and has a pocket clip. However, as you can see there, the pocket clip is very slim, and it did not do well with jeans material. It did do well with lighter material, but I'll tell you a secret. This could fit in my fifth pocket on women's jeans. I could fit this in my fifth pocket. What a fantastic find just for that reason. Now. The idea here is if you don't carry a knife and you want to try carrying a knife, and incidentally you can single-handed open it by using the uh, screw as a thumb stud, but if you want to try carrying a knife and you haven't been carrying one, this is a great way to give it a try at an affordable price. It's only 10 bucks, but when you decide to replace this, with something better or something else, you can keep this around and use it for cutting cardboard or for anything else where you'd rather use a utility blade that you would replace than a knife that you would sharpen. Next, we'll move on to the bag. A lot of people are carrying sling bags in some way, and especially for men, this may be a new idea. This is one option for you. I have an alternate as well, which I'll be able to show you a picture of. This is the Travelon Modern Gray in Heather, and it is a interesting shape. It does not really look like a purse in person, and in fact, when I've been carrying it, no one has referred to it as a purse, but rather as my bag. Let's take a look here. We've got inside here a series of pockets that you can use to store cards, and in fact, these are RFID protected. If you know if that's necessary, leave a message in the comment below so we can all find out. I don't know if that's really that important. There's another pouch here, and a big pouch back here. There's plenty of room. It is not an organizer pouch. On the back, a slip pocket. And here we can see the only place I've had any trouble with this. I've had a little bit of wear right here. I've been carrying this a lot. I've been carrying heavy things in it, and it was probably a little bit too much. This is fantastically lightweight. The zippers work extremely well. The zipper pulls are also actually quite nice, and it feels good to use them. This is really intended for travel, but it is a great way to get experience carrying things in a sling bag of some sort. Now, let me give you another option, though, for a sling bag. By the same company in the same color, the Heather Gray, we have the Travelon World Travel Essentials Convertible Sling. And this would be carried more like a crossbody in front or behind you. It could be carried as a fanny pack, but fortunately that has kind of gone out of style, and the crossbody carry style is uh, what people seem to be doing now, which is a tremendous advancement in fanny pack technology. Anyway, I think this may be a better solution for some people, but it was about a dollar more, and I went right up to within about two cents of my $50 limit, so I wasn't able to get this one for myself or to show you, but I do think that would be another excellent choice. And then if you decide you want to carry a sling bag regularly, instead of sticking with one of these lightweight versions, you could actually move to anything else and keep these for travel purposes. Let's move on to the watch. I failed at the watch a little bit here because it is not black and silver. It's black and gold because that is what I could afford. It was a little bit cheaper. But may I say, this is pretty cool. The numbers in here are actually gold and match the outside here. It's pretty awesome. Now, the other way I failed, other than not having this in silver, is that I turned out to be really, really allergic to this metal and I had a pretty decent rash going on my arm for a while. How embarrassing. So I was not actually able to wear this. 
However, if you're not somebody that wears a watch, you might find that instead of just using your cell phone all the time, you might be more comfortable, more on top of things if you have a watch. Likewise, because this has a stopwatch function on it, you may be able to use this for productivity purposes, such as like a Pomodoro timer or for workouts. And it also, if you do have a watch or if you decide to upgrade to a better watch, at $14, this is not a watch you're going to be super worried about losing. So it is a uh, pretty good option there, and I like that watch. However, I want to give you a couple other options as well. If you are a woman, here's another Armatron watch. It is 18 something, and uh, this is actually a really nice watch. I've had a couple of them myself. And then if you're a man or a woman, these Casio watches have become incredibly popular. This uh, retro styling is uh, really slick, and it also is, uh, well, this one's only $17, but still I was running really tight on money, so I wasn't able to get that for myself. I probably would have gone with that though, because it really fits with the style of this slightly futuristic silver and black styling that we've got. Now let's move on to the pen. Now obviously everybody has pens and if you want to EDC a pen you can just put a pen in your pocket. This is not a special travel pen although obviously it does fit into the uh, sling bag that I've got proposed for you here but in the silver and black color it looks really good and it is a fountain pen. So I feel like this gives you a little bit of a different opportunity to write with a different style of pen. Now unlike some fountain pens it is a very extremely reliable fountain pen and it doesn't give the variation in line thickness that you might be used to seeing with different fountain pens. Nonetheless, because it doesn't take any converters or cartridges, you don't have to worry about ink because it is already full of ink more than your average fountain pen would be, but it is disposable. So this gives you the fountain pen experience and then it can go away. As far as moving into a different uh, role in your life, I, I'm not sure that uh, you actually need it to move into a different role because it will continue to fulfill its role as a pen <laughs> as you go forward anyway. And finally, we're moving on to the place where I really cheated here. So this is the key management system. It is an S Beaner from Night Eyes that comes attached to the flashlight. Now this is a little bit of an unexpected item for me. I needed a very inexpensive flashlight and I got this for $7.37 and it turns out I actually overpaid. I got this because I was familiar with it from a man that I work with who has one and I noticed how bright it is and how easy it is to use. He keeps it clipped to a name tag and just lights up uh, whatever he needs to look at with it and it really works quite well. Now I took it and used it outside with the dogs. I used it in all sorts of settings as a flashlight and it's fantastic. It really is much brighter than you would think for such a tiny and uh, kind of easy to use item. Now may I say it is a little bit e too easy to use. It's easy to activate this while it's in your pocket and uh, certainly the batteries that are in here might uh, become uh, exhausted by doing that. That being said, this does have changeable batteries. This is not the kind of thing that you're going to need to throw away, unlike some of these squeeze lights. And this is much, much brighter than some of the little extremely cheap squeeze lights that you might have seen before. This actually is a really good product. So even though I paid maybe even three times too much for it, it really is worth it. And I don't feel like I was cheated at all. So these are the items that fulfill all six of the traditional EDC roles. I hope you found something in here that might be useful. I hope you might have considered entering a style of EDC that you haven't done before. Maybe carrying a flashlight if you weren't or trying a sling bag to carry some different things with you. I hope that you uh, will make some comments below and what you've done with your EDC in the past. Thank you very much.